Howdy folks, good evening. It's Justin or New Time Travel Jaime 88. Welcome back to my channel. And tonight is time for another VHS comparison. This week, I'll be showing off two different versions of Police Academy 2, their first assignment on VHS, which you see I have two copies of it. On the left, I have the original 1987 VHS in a slip cover. And then on the right, I have the 1999 VHS. Oh, it's 1998. Okay. 1998 VHS, part of the Warner Brothers Hits Collection. Now, I, this is the funniest movie ever. The last time I saw it, it was on Stars back in 1996. <laughs> I love that. And it's hilarious. No, I take that back. I saw this on WJZ locally during WJZ m m Netflix, their l local when network local television showing movies. But don't worry, WJZ show it the edited version. That was around 1992. Anyway, uh, before we get to the comparison, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Joshua Cook. Josh, if you're watching this, your videos are excellent, dude. Keep up the good work. Make sure you check out his channel on YouTube. I'll leave the link in the description below. Let's get started. Okay, here's Police Academy 2. This movie stars D. Gutenberg, Michael Winslow, Bruce Maul, Colleen Camp, Art, Matt Reno, or Rano, David Graff, Howard, rest in peace to George Gang, Marion Ramsey, Bubba Smith, and Howard Hesseman, both in this, all three in this film. Jerry Parrish directed it, and this is from 1985, the sequel to the 1984 movie, which I had the first film on VHS. It says, watch out, they got to clean up the worst crime districts in the world. But that's no problem. They're the worst police force in the universe. Ah, uh, that's not nice. Hmm. Even though Police Academy is funny. To protect, to serve, and make you laugh. America's funniest crime busters are bad. Ready PG-13, and it's 87 minutes, that's Dolby Stereo, and this is part of the comedy category. The first film is Ready R, I believe. Here's a tape in a sticker label, but the tape is, is very yellowy in the reels, very dark reels, but that's okay. And I got this from Josh Cook. No, actually, yeah. The print date is May 27th, 1987. I know Josh Cook has this copy. Now, actually, he got the big W copy. Let me put this back in here. Because I'll tell you. And I um, swapped the tapes. I'll show you guys in a minute. But first, here's this 1998 VHS of Police Academy. The artwork is a bit slightly colored than this one. Even the logo is like yellow-orange. But This one is plain yellow, but this has the WB Shield on there. But it's got the Warner Brothers Hits Collection. Boring Shield. Uh, what? Uh, but the logo is okay. But this came in this slipcover, so actually this right here came in this in this 1987 original box. When I came, when I got this copy, it came with this tape right there. So I um swapped the tape. 
Here's a tape with the dark sticker label. The print date is June 14, 2002. It's a later printing, but even though this is still a 1998 VHS. And this is so freaking funny. I believe in the second film, when the police car accidentally backed up and almost hit the... ran over the guy's foot. Out at... Even though some parts not funny... But anyway, um, in the meantime, let me tell you what these two tapes opens up. We'll start with this one. The 1987 VHS of Police Academy. This is a reprint because it opens up with the, um, the warning screen, the 1986 Warner Home Video logo with a subsidiary, a Warner Brothers Incorporated, a Warner Communication Company, the 1984 Warner Brothers Pictures logo, the ink, the lag company in in credit text and start of the movie. At the end, this has the low pitch black screen of death. At the end, yep. But I do know his. I know Josh Cook's copy of Police Academy Two. His opens up because I saw the opening and it starts with the warning screen. The nineteen eighty to nineteen eighty six. Warner Home Video logo with the big W logo, I mean the big W, and a white background, a Warner Communication Company, the 1984 Warner Brothers Pictures logo, the lag company in credit text, start of the movie. Now at the end, it's got the 1984 blue MPAA PG-13 screen. The 1998 VHS of Police Academy 2, it starts with the the warning screen, the Warner Brothers 75th anniversary montage VHS collection promo, the night, the Warner, the 1996 or no, 1997 Warner Home Video logo with the Warner Brothers 75 years entertaining the world, the 1984 Warner Brothers Pictures logo, and the lag company in Credit Texas starting the movie. This Warner Brothers, they updated the video master on there. So, yes. Unfortunately, the Police Academy movies are not available on Blu-ray in United States, but it can be found in region in international release, like in region 2. Hopefully, um, Warner Brothers or Warner Archives will release the Police Academy movies. Anyway, that's it for this week's um, video. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. See you next time.